this is the first ever CSGO uh, National Cup, so fair enough. It's, it's, uh, it oh, definitely brilliant. adds, a, adds a, a nice... Well, it's different to the normal NIP against very game seven times a week kind of thing, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Definitely. Probably not the same quality of players, but... You know, CSGO is CSGO. It can only be good for the community, definitely. Ex so, exactly. good to see. Spot on. But anyway, it's knife round now. Oh dear, good old knife rounds. It's like... I don't know what to say in these knife rounds. Wow! Estonians? I'll tell you what, I'm not going to Estonia anytime soon. <laughs> no. They're very good with knives. Come on guys, go live. We haven't got all day. So yeah, obviously Estonia, I think, well, Dust 2, I think the, you know, Dust 2 is one of those 50-50 maps. Most people consider it T-sided, that I know. I, uh, what do you think? Yeah, it's sort of a eight seven T side, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It depends. It depends on your play style. Some people prefer playing counter terrorists and uh, making the terrorists work for the round. So Fair it's all enough. about preference, I think. Fair enough. I think Estonia definitely prefer T side. That's why. Uh, well, they're chosen T side. But anyway, they're making their way in towards long. Tian White with that first kill onto Chetty Dan. He just didn't fall back, and he's got well a heck of a load of T's to deal with. He took Helix out, but one kill's not enough. Vets onto Mag. So Sven and Bowser, the only two men left standing for the CTs. So we're going to see Bowser. Why is Bowser peeking short without his teammate pushing up? That's my question. So Sven's being shot up the bomb. And it looks like he's going to go towards short to try and join his teammate Bowser, who of course has that very nice black and white gun smoke P250. We have uh, Snake, who's only on 11 HP, but he does have two kills already. Bye Whoa. bye Sven, good shot from Waffle, and Bowser's got to pull something Absolutely. out of the bag here. And, uh, didn't we'll have pull some it out golden bag, syrup with that Waffle. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> nice, I like it. Golden syrup. Vets was really cheeky there, actually, because he bought Kevlar, got someone else to drop a P250 for him, and when you do that as a terrorist side, it's really hard to stop. You're almost like a tank. Just You can take the bullets and deal out the headshots. Really like that strat. Fair enough. <laughs> so, Stony, of course, emerged victorious in that first round. Oh, this half, so uh, Snake, they bought up AKs, Waffle with that MP7. One of them's been dinged to the back of that B-bomb site. The stampede onto this B-bomb site begins. Waffle with one. Chetty with another. The T's only one man down. The mag tried rotating through tunnels. Didn't succeed very well. Helix using that P90 to look outside window. And Snake, he does have that AK. I tell you what, if he dies now and gives the CTs that AK, well, not only would it make things three on three, but it would make this entire round perhaps winnable for the CTs, but Snake, well, I think he was listening to me, he took out the mag, he's of course on 4 HP, if TNY pushed him, he may have been able to kill him, but Dan and, and TNY seem more than happy to just chill in tons here, are they trying to save their USPs? Maybe. You know, saving your USPs is always a good idea. Yeah, just looking for some exit frags here, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. And before anyone starts taking the piss out out the fact that I said saving your USP is a good idea, um, that was a sarcastic, uh, <laughs> a sarcastic claim. Snake actually lost his AK there. I think, uh, one four HP didn't get out of uh, tunnels in time. Okay. Interesting. Fair enough. But anyways, we're seeing. Well, it looks like slap bang the same thing from Estonia. The uh, CTs, of course, are still echoing. Fetch with that PP Bison, Waffle and Helix are slowly making their way in towards this B bomb site. Oh, oh good one AK from Bowser. See you later, Bow uh, from Waffle, sorry, see you later, Bowser. Helix with that OPP90 onto another the CD and CTs. Two men down already. They of course only have USPs. Look, CTs, look Luxembourg. You gotta get together, you gotta use those USPs together. You can't just be spread out one on one and then get killed off. TNY will take out Waffle, Snake will take out Dan. And one man is left standing for the CTs, and Helix has him in his back pocket. 3-0. Typical eco bush, uh, bush, eco bash so far. Nothing new. Estonia dominating. Yeah, this is a really big round for Luxembourg, mentally, more than anything. So they really need to get this round. Get around on the board and 
hopefully take the first gun round. I couldn't agree more. I need to get that first round on the board. I mean, Counter Strike, as soon as you get that first round on the board, it just. Oh, good shot from Bowser oh. through the smoke onto Snake. <laughs> so, four versus five versus four now. I was going to say four versus one. I need to go back to primary school and learn how to count. So, TNY and CT spawn. Uh, Luxembourg have that AWP and MAG. Oh, he saw one of the T's. Didn't deal any damage through that door, but MAG, well, he's uh, had a lot of damage dealt onto himself. He's only uh, standing on 18 HP, but he will live to fight another day. And we're seeing a mid to be pushed now from Estonia. Out comes one of the CTs from B-Ramp. He probably should have stuck in the bomb site. Sven will take down Helix, however. He was heavy tagged. So Estonia, you've got to carry on going into this bomb site. Get hit this bomb site. Waffle with that AWP lightning strike in tunnels. Fetz is pushing through tunnels. Fetz will take down Bowser. And the bomb site can be confirmed as clear now. So Estonia will be looking to get that C4 down. TNY, Sven, the mag. And who have I missed out? Dan rotating now through B-Ramp. All of them through B-Ramp, actually. And none of them through tunnels, so it'll be interesting to see how the T's hold this. So the nades are flying oh. in. Taken down to 2 HP at the back of sight there. So unlucky Chetty. not to get the kill. So Waffle with that first nade frag. Chetty, they've seen exactly where he is. Fen takes good care of him. 4 vs 1 now. Bye bye Fetz. And uh, very good retake from Luxembourg. And like you said earlier on, they needed to win that round. And that was exactly what the doctor ordered. 3-1. Yeah, good retake there. They didn't all rush in too quickly, but when they did push, they all went together and uh, managed to just outgun the T's. So, uh, we're still seeing a buy from the terrorists, despite obviously losing that round. Their AKs are, of course, cheaper than uh, their counterpart CT's M4s. They deal uh, more damage as well. But anyways, the Stampede of Terrorists start making their way towards Long Dan with one. But one kill, we keep saying this, is not enough. Same goes for TNY. He took down one. It is even now at three on three, but on a T-sided map, well, when you've got less CTs covering the map, despite having less Ts, you still find yourself at a disadvantage. That's a golden rule that a lot of people used to tell me back when I used to play CS Source, especially CT. If you're going to die, try to at least take out two opponents before dying. But anyways, of course, saw that. Luxembourg didn't do that. The mag there saw, I think, a glimpse of the terrorist pushing into this B bomb site. Oh, Fett stopped, and the mag dealed with him. Absolutely took his helmet off. The man's going to peek him, but Snake doesn't care. He's going to take him out. Bye bye, Bowser as well. Waffle landed that AK onto him. Sven is the last man standing now. He's going to make his way into this B bomb site. What's he doing? And I think uh, that kill from Snake justified my. Uh, question of what is he doing yeah. tell me Sykes what is he doing yeah I'm not sure what he was trying to do I think maybe he was gonna try and get the bomber when he was planting just he thought they were a bit further ahead than they were uh, could have worked but um, yeah the the mag took a really good shot through the box on on B site there but just couldn't make the second if he'd have made that other shot then it could have been a different round for uh, Luxembourg then so we've seen an interesting setup. Talking about an interesting setup, well, it didn't pay off for the CTs. The mag fell to his death. He tried to push lowers by himself. Helix will get that frag onto Dan. So five versus three now. Of course, the CTs on an eco. Bye bye, Sven. Typical eco bash stuff. stuff. Estonia, they're going to try and push mid to B now, are they? Are they going to go towards short? They are going to try and push mid to B. Fetz takes down Bowser and uh, TNY. Well, he's on a different planet at the moment. He's on a different side of the map. He's been spotted. He's had damage dealt onto him. And the question now is, is he going to save that P2000? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't uh, got many options at, at the moment. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what that was. He just needs to take out the other three and uh, he might have a chance. Perhaps aim practice. Oh. Smart play from TNY, but I think Chetty does have his eye on CT spawn nonetheless. TNY's going to peek out, and I think Chetty's got this in the bag. And uh, he most certainly does. 5-1 Estonia, and Luxembourg have got to wake up and smell the bacon, because, well, this is a T-sided map, but not this T-sided. They need to... No, I'd like to... Sorry, uh, I'd okay. like to see them do something uh, aggressive here, maybe t two on short, go aggressive, try and pick them off at mid, just yeah. do something a little bit more Different. out there to uh, try and catch uh, the, catch them off guard. Oh, the mag not making a shot there, really should have made that connect. Yeah, I definitely agree, and uh, it's an interesting setup, they haven't sent anyone towards long, 
Um, they actually decided to boost towards short. One of them died. But uh, Estonia at the moment popping heads for fun. So Fats took down Sven. Ooh, lovely orb shot from the, from, uh, what's he called again? The Mag. Two, double from the Mag. Triple oh. from the Mag. Wow. If you want to use an orb, use it like this guy because he knows exactly what he's doing. So Dan with that farm, Snakes will take him out. And now it's Snakes all by himself. Now he has that AK-47. The Mag, well, he's hungry. He wants that four man. And he's anticipating that Bowser's probably going to push him from... Well, he stood right out in the open now. Come on, Snake. Bowser... I think Snake is anticipating Bowser to push out, is he? Oh, oh dear. What and been... the mag making up for that early miss short there, making a great 3k. Some good, uh, quick shots there. Yeah, he was terrific. Really I forgot that. his name at one point. Mesmerized by the three mana. <laughs> the uh, awesome orb skills. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what the last terrorist was doing there. Obviously, he got caught red-handed. He had the bomb out in his hands. And unfortunately, you can't just type the code into the bomb and throw it towards short and hope that uh, it wins you the round. So, let's have a look at this setup from the T's then. One towards B tunnels, one towards lowers. Just two chilling outside long, one chilling outside top and mid. Just sparring. Triggers being pulled at each other at the moment. Bowser spotted one of the T's in B. And that T is going to do the sensible thing and fall back, is he? Well, let's just leave these two to uh, carry on their fight here near this B bomb site. So, uh, again, we've. Oh, this is different actually. We've seen Dan play long very close, rather aggressively, but we still don't really see much happening at short or at mid. The mag, of course, he did have that AWP, but he has let not one, not two, but three terrorists onto short. So it looks like they might consider a mid to B push here. The CT smokes are out. The mag's going to play this defensively. He's fallen back. Good shot from Bowser. Can the mag. Ooh, the mag missed that shot, and he's going to fall to his death. A double from Chetty. And three on three is how this is left so no CTs oh. in this B bomb site Fetz will take down Dan and we're gonna see TNY try and infiltrate this B bomb site I think he'll hear the bomb going down sometime soon Fetz of course 29 HP so he needs to keep calm well he kept calm but Snake <laughs> had the upper hand on him so three versus one oh good shot from Sven through the doors can pull this clutch off and unfortunately the answer to that is no waffle nailed in with that AVP and uh, Estonia rack another round on the board. Just as it seems like Luxembourg are going to fight their way back into the game, Estonia come back at them and win another round and completely ruin their momentum. Yeah, it's early days, but um, it's looking better for Luxembourg. The lo some of these rounds are going down to two on twos, three on three on twos, so it's looking a lot more hopeful than uh, than the Inferno side. So we were talking about hopeful. This is going to have to be hopeful for TNY. You only have that P2000. And well, Estonia infiltrated that B-bomb site. Made it look easy. Wow, they're just peeking CT spawn and popping heads at the moment. Estonian fans, if you're watching, your team are playing very well and you should be proud of them. Then again, the CTs are on an eco, but the question is, why are the CTs on an eco? Come on, guys, win a few rounds. You shouldn't be ecoing. Come on, you need more rounds on the board. So Bowser, Dan and the Mag, the only ones... Or correction, the Mag and Dan, the only CTs left alive. The Mag might kill Fetz here. Dan is going to kill Fetz. They know that both CTs are in tunnels now, so the terrorists need to calm down and play this cool snake. He's going to peek out a low. He takes down one. Is he going to get the double? Ooh. Oh. Well, Dan, with the hat trick, he played very well that round, but... Can he save this AK? That's the question. He can, and he's closer to Waffle he than will. he thinks. But, you know, well played by him. That, but they still lost a yeah, round. Yeah, that was a good uh, eco from Luxembourg. They uh, managed to take four of the five players out. So, yeah, that's that's not bad, really. You'd take that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you probably would. I mean, obviously, it forces Estonia to buy guns once again, which hinders their economy. But then again, they did win the round. They got the bomb down, so maybe even things out. So let's have a look here then. We've got Waffle, who's orping at long. He did get hit, but he's not going to fall to his death just yet. Dan and Helix sparring at each other, but we're seeing, well, a heck of a load of terrorists make their way onto shore now. What are we going to see now from the terrorists? Sven is going to get the first blood onto Waffle. Jetty returns with the kill. Are we going to see the push Good now? Nade. The CTs. Oh, double nade oh. from TNY. Is he going to get the hat trick? He is. He's going to pull the trigger towards Jetty. Jetty's going to try and hunt him down. He's, of course, on 94 HP. Helix will take out Dan. Two versus three. I think Jetty knows exactly where TNY is and will drop him. Jetty's going to put that bomb down. Good smoke. On to crossover, the mag 
He of course has that up. He's going to make his way towards long. Lovely 1AK from Helix. And Bowser now, well, he's got to have the round of his life now. He's going to pull this two versus one clutch off. Chetty with two kills. Helix with two kills. These guys are on fire. And Bowser's going to be even... Well, going to have to be even hotter if he's going to try and pull this one off. And unfortunately for him, he didn't pull it off. So 8-2. I think Estonia showed a bit of class there. Helix with a really nice shot on uh, the mag just coming out of long doors. Just uh, clinical there, really clinical. Got the bomb down. Never looked like losing the round. So Estonia, we've seen this do quite a lot. They're all going towards B, really. On paper, they shouldn't have to do this, but they know that the CTs are ecoing. They're expecting that the mag always comes low as on an eco. Good shot by the mag. He couldn't steal that AK, but Chetsy, nevertheless, is going to carry on going into this B bomb site. Calm down, Estonia. We've got the weapon advantage. Get that all-important bomb down. So, Fetch is holding tunnels by himself. He spots not one, but two CTs. Takes out one. He's going to pull that block of his out. <laughs> Lovely stuff from Fetch. Good counter-strike from the Estonians. So, two versus four. Four versus one. Fetch with two. To his name. And TMY, last man standing. Boom. There we go. Well-timed boom on my behalf. So... Again, what do you think of these anti-eco strats that Estonia are doing? They keep rushing B, and Luxembourg, well, they're not realising. I think that uh, I think Estonia have rushed B <laughs> every eco round, bar the pistol round, that Luxembourg have had. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they should uh, throw a smoke down, maybe get buy some P250s, and all just hide in the site and just see if they can make anything happen that way, because it just doesn't seem to be happening, uh, like in a retake on an eco, so... Fair enough. So, of course, now the Estonians know they're not anti eco. There's four in B tunnels. They're getting close now towards this mid to B area. The mag is the one who's going to have a lot to work to do, but sorry, I tried to switch to him, but he was dead. He's dead, so I can't switch to him now. And see him in CT spawn later on. Helix took down Dan. Oh, kills left, right, and center now. Bowser will take down Helix, and let's have a look what's going to happen now. This mid to B push is going to start from the Estonians. Chetty got. Shot up the backside, but he's gonna try and quickly make his way into this B bomb site. Four versus two, but Fetz and Chetty are both heavy tagged. So you know, if Sven get a f and TNY get a few lucky nades here and there, they might pull something out the back. So TNY, oh, good shot from Sven and Chetty and Fetz are still alive. Are they gonna go for this? I don't think they are. I think they're just gonna try and get the exit frags. You know, if it was me, I, I would. Come on, Luxembourg, go for it. They are gonna go for it. Are they gonna oh, go, they for are it? going for it? They are going for good it. Good decision. So Sven and uh, his teammate now infiltrating this bomb site. They spot that guy in tunnels now. Chetty, the last man standing. Good headshot from Chetty. Is TNY going to have time, time to defuse? He can't find the bomb. No. And uh, he admits defeat and falls to his death. Good effort. I think they left it a bit late. Perhaps they weren't sure on the decision they wanted to make. And now, well, they're gonna are they going to eco? No, we see an M4 from Sven. Yep, they are buying up. Yeah, Luxembourg have been unlucky a few of these rounds. They've been quite close. I'm not sure the scoreline quite reflects how close it actually has been. They seem to be having a lot of joy in mid. Uh, they seem to be able to just sort of take, uh, take um, who's it, the mag out, and that sort of just opens up the map. Then they can go B, they can go CT. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we saw, we see where the well, Estonians. Let's just. The well, the Luxembourgians have lost this round now, but one thing I noticed there, uh, just to show you guys on the stream, Estonians, they play two in graffiti. You can't hold long with two at graffiti, especially when one of them isn't an AWPer. So I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do, but Estonia, look, uh, Luxembourg, you know you're the underdogs, but get in Estonia's faces. You know, uh, they... Uh, I'm getting frustrated now watching them because they're giving them control of different parts of the map. The reason why Estonia won that round is because they just, they walked into long. They literally walked into long. There was no one there to really prevent them. And they got the bomb down. They've got the long plant now. And the CTs, well, they've fallen back to this T-spawn area. But they're going to have M4s. And next round, well, their teammates who died aren't going to have M4s. So, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm saying a lot, but I'm speechless at the same <laughs> time, if that makes any sense. I mean, we, we we said Luxembourg might f make a way back into this game, but they're playing far too negative, in my opinion. So let's see. Yeah, well, sorry. Carry no, on. go on, go on, go on. <laughs> I was just going to say that 
Oh, wait. All right, let's push into the B bomb site. Bowser took that one fight. Some good scenes over from Luxembourg. Estonia, three kills from the Estonians, two from Snake, and one from Helix. And again, uh, a simple B push. Luxembourg need to buy some time. They let the Estonians into the bomb site and then try to get some exit frags. Perhaps, you know, play slightly more aggro positions. Flash them in their face, throw nades into tunnels, deal damage, because at the moment, it looks like Estonia playing matchmaking, or on a, or, or, or on a public server, and it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Dan's going to fall back now with that, with that FAMAS, but we're going to have round number 15 next, and well, Luxembourg are going to try and buy up everything they can, but the question is, Terrorists are they going to be able to prevent? the uh, 13 2 but even if they were capable of preventing the 13 2 they'd find themselves stuck at 12 3 which to be, let's be fully honest with each other it's not good enough what 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 do you want to see him do now on this last round just to try and, and, and revive something from this game the last round negabs obviously oh no <laughs> I, I don't know I'm not sure what they can do really they just uh, seem to be getting picked apart and nothing they uh, nothing they can do about it really we saw Chetty walk into long, and we've just seen Helix walk into short. So, of course, yeah, fair enough. Luxembourg have the weapon disadvantage, but we've seen him do the exact same thing, even when they do have weapons. TNI, he had an AWP. What's he done with that AWP? The answer to that is nothing. Chetty drops down. Lovely shot by him. Four versus two now. The mag, he's making his way towards long. He's making noise. i tell you what, Chetty knows he's there. Is Chetty going to deal with him? He isn't. So, wow. This is that. Wow. Two versus two. Bowser. I don't know where he was coming from, but he's turned this around. We were slagging Luxembourg off, but maybe they've got a bit of luck on their side. Bowser's making his way towards short now. He's already got two kills, but was that a jumping AK shot? I think he was the... It's a nice one AK to finish that half. 13-2. <laughs> Jeez. Good team performance by Estonia there. Yeah. I mean... Estonia looked like they noticed the fact that Luxembourg were playing really negative and really defensive. They were using their flashes, they were pushing long and short. Well, we didn't really see that much of a change in setup from Luxembourg. We saw that last round, no, Chetty the... pop out along a 1AK, the player at long corner. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to be able to sort of spot what you're doing wrong and sort of do something different if it's not going right and Luxembourg didn't seem to be able to do that. So is the comeback on then? Well on paper if you lose the pistol round you lose the next three rounds so if Luxembourg don't win this pistol round then ladies and gents they're in trouble because Estonia will most likely buy submachine guns up and capitalize on it but despite that they did get the opening round opening kill of the round. Chetty however leveled things up. 4 versus 4. Sven lovely shot by him using that P2000 and Snake is in for the fright of his life. He's gonna use that flash to buy him a little bit of time. He's gonna throw that incendium a little bit of regrade down and down he goes thanks to that nade. So 4 versus 2. We said that Luxembourg needed... Oh, where's this going on? Come on auto director. What's happening with you? So 2 versus 2. Wow, what a tongue twister this game has been so far. So Dan tried to get the bomb down. Waffle took him out. And TNY, he needs to win this round for Luxembourg. He needs to rescue it. He's got only that Glock in his hands, which of course was nerfed down. It's not as strong as it used to be, but Fetz is on 5 HP. So one hit onto him with that Glock could see him fall to his death. And, well, TNY would have to deal with Waffle, who is in form at the moment. He's got two kills already this round. TNY's picked the bomb up, but he knows the CTs have him on lockdown. They've heard him plant the bomb. Waffle pushes. Oh, good shot from TNY. Oh, and Fetzel has only 5 HP. The fake plant from TNY. One bullet from TNY is all he needs to pull this 2 versus 1 clutch off. This is so close. TNY's going to push him, and he lands it. 2 versus 1 from TNY. I don't know how did he, he did it. Did he throw his pistol he, at him he, and pick it up? He threw <laughs> that his... is a crazy, crazy <laughs> idea, but it worked. I think he, he, he I wanted, love it. I think he wanted to throw the bomb, but I don't know. It definitely acted as a distraction, and that was exactly what the doctor ordered for Luxembourg. And, well, it gives them a very, very, very minute way back into this game. And, uh...
on paper they should win the next round. Sven is uh, greeted by not one but two CTs in upper tunnels. But they are going to fall back. They were, of course, Waffle and Chetty. So Snake has that Deagle on short, which isn't a weapon we see used very often. He's going to get a push. He's falling back, doing the sensible thing. Fair play for him. Vets probably doing the exact opposite of what his teammate was doing. Not a very sensible thing. Don't take on the T's when all you got is silenced USB and they got P90s. So Bowser making his way. He spotted one of those CTs on... Uh, a ramp and all the CTs oh. attacked. One AK from Snakes. Down on the mag getting kills apiece. So, two versus three now. Waffle and Snake, the only CTs left breathing. The mag and Sven, however, along with Bowser, all on that A bomb site. So, the mag is anticipating at least one of the CTs in Waffle rotating. <laughs> Lovely shot from Waffle. Picked up that SMG off a dead, off a dead Luxembourgian. And now Snakes and Waffle, they're together. They look, let's act as a team. Snake trying to pick that up that AK, but Sven had him in his back pocket. And it's all down to Waffle now. He has that MP7 scores, but Sven gets his hat trick. And Luxembourg live to fight another day. Yeah, that was a good round uh, from Luxembourg. It looked like they might have thrown it away, but uh, they managed to get the bomb down and hold the site very well. All right, so 13-4. 13 rounds in favour of Estonia. Of course, Estonia did win the first map, so if they uh, grab another important three rounds, they'll emerge victorious overall. But talking about playing well, TNY 3-man... Wow, we just stayed stood in T-spawn and three CTs pushed him at B and uh, he landed three lovely headshots. Can he get that four man? He's being pushed and I think he may have spotted an arm. I think he knows exactly where Snake is. Oh, but Snake did land that deagle shot onto him. So, nevertheless, well played TNY anyways. Got not one, not two, but three kills. The bomb's going to go down on this A bomb site. And Snakes has picked up an AK, which I think he'll be looking to save. Helix just hiding in pit, actually. If he shows himself up now, the mag will definitely trace him down. Snake is saving that jungle spray AK. Definitely helping financially. He is actually being approached by Dan though. So let's have a look at Dan and whether he's going to spot him. The mag, as we said, took down Helix. Snake, here's Dan right behind him. And it's a game of cat and mouse. And who is going to win that game? Snakes emerge victorious of that game. So the bomb's going to go off. An important fifth round for Luxembourg. Oh, he actually fell to his death there. Perhaps Snake should have just stayed hidden behind the box. Sykes, are you with us? Yes, I am. Oh, Sorry, yeah, I was just <laughs> taking that in. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know you're with us. I thought something may have happened to you. Yeah, sorry about that. I was, <laughs> it's I was fine. Uh, zoning out. I was taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no worries. But anyway, let's take a look at this Estonia setup. Two on B, one at long, and uh, two right on the A bomb site. We've got no one watching mid, which is why the Mag and TMY are just more or less chilling at mid. Of course, this is the first gun versus gun round. If Estonia win this, well, we might see Luxembourg eco in. And uh, they'll be wanting to capitalize on it. There's Helix in a spot, Dan. But despite that, Helix did manage to land that headshot with that silent M4. So uh, Estonia already got a one man advantage so far this game. This round, sorry. So Yeah, first, first gun round. Big round, this. So uh, we want to see a push of some sort from the terrorists. The bomb is near Palm Tree and it looks like they might go for a mid to B push. That's something we saw Estonia do quite a lot. Chetty does however spot one of the T's near Double Doors and uh, tag him for around 17 HP. Not much but uh, every little helps. So are we going to see a mid to B push now? Yes we are. So the terrorists in Luxembourg start making their way towards mid to B. They've been flashed. Now CT is going to pop out his snakes. He dropped one two from snake. That's what we like to see. Oh. And Chetty popping out of CT spawn to finish off the job. A professional round from Estonia. None of them died. And uh, well Luxembourg need to buy everything they can. They can't afford to lose this round. Yeah, that was something that Luxembourg struggled with. Uh, hold it, great hold in mid by Estonia. Then they uh, managed to get the flash in, actually hit the player, blinded all of the team, and uh, they had a great crossfire and just mopped them all up. So we were saying, uh, well, Luxembourg need to win this round. 
Well, 10, 15 seconds in, they're already a man down, and there could be two men down. Why, why is auto direct switching? Why do I even use auto direct? The Helix, however, he has a bomb right in front of his vision. He pushed out along. He's playing aggressive at long, which is something we didn't see from uh, employed from the Luxembourgian terrorist, from the Luxembourgian counter terrorist. And well, it's paid off for him, and it could pay off for Helix once again. He's dealt a lot of damage onto one of these terrorists. Go TV playing up there once again. It seems to play up when we get to these last few rounds. But the bomb, of course, is down. TMY is going to throw that nade towards Helix. Drops um, uh, around 40 HP onto him. And it also baits Sven out. So Sven falls to his death. Dan's going to peek. Vets gets his second of the round. And Dan, well, uh, Helix knows... Not Helix, sorry. Who is that? Chetty knows exactly where he is. But Chetty, he's only on 2 HP. So he's playing it cool. Despite the fact that he knows all Dan has is a USP. And good teamwork there from Estonia. I think Chetty bought his team yeah. time to rotate. He told them, look guys, I need your help. I don't want to die. I want to go home safe and sound. And they came and helped him. So now it's match point. And I think that's been the difference through, uh, throughout Inferno and Dust 2. Estonia just look a bit more coherent. They look the better team really. And uh, looks like they're going to take this map. So the terrorists, of course, have bought everything they can, and they're going to run right into this Estonian trap. Not one, but three kills all over the place from the Estonians. One apiece for Fetz, Chetty, and Helix. And, well, two Luxembourgian terrorists left breathing now. Bowser with that AK-47. He is going to drop Chetty, thanks to the help of his teammate, the Mag. They're pushing him from all sorts of angles now, and Fetz makes it 16. So, uh, I predicted 16-8. Luxembourg let me down a little bit, but... Uh, I think the Estonians were always going to emerge. Not victorious. far off. But yeah, so uh, two that was a good to game. Uh, yeah, a bit unfair on Luxembourg. I think a few of those rounds uh, when they were on uh, CT could have gone their way, but uh, all in all, uh, a good performance from both teams.